Hi guys, today in this video I want to show you how to draw easy and bright portrait or self-portrait. This masterclass is a good way for people who have no experience in drawing or for anybody who wants to try something new. Here is a simple, decorative and modern way to do it. It can be a good way to have a fun time with your family. Just draw portraits of each other or you can make a surprise for your beloved. You can do your drawing from a picture with a model or from your memory. For my drawing, I don't pick certain personalities. I do it by my imagination. I drew two portraits at the same time, so you can see what kind of variation here can be. I take ordinary letter paper and I fold it. It's actually a convenient size for kind of postcards. You can make this portrait for a gift. You can also sign it, there is still space for it. I'm starting with the frame. I specially make it by my hand. I did not take the ruler on purpose. It is important not to be afraid of this. I leave about 0 2 inch on each side. From the top can be a little more. Also at the bottom it's about 1 inch. The line may be a little shaky, but this is quite normal. You can take a ruler if you really want to, but it will already look not natural. I wouldn't advise you to take a ruler. We start our drawing with a pencil, we eventually will get a drawing which can give us the effect of a coloring picture. I start with the egg-shaped head. If you want to check yourself about the size, approximately this head takes one half of the total size. You can measure the total size, then take half, this will be the size of your head. It is important to leave a certain space above your head. Again, if measure, it's about one seventh of the total space. We make an egg and make a hairline. The hair will approximately take about one sixth part of your egg. You cannot measure, you can just trust yourself. But I also give this tip to make it easier. If you measure the front part without the hair, in the middle of this part will be our eye line. If you draw a person with a very long nose or a very high or low forehead, you can move the line. But in this portrait I do not insist of any detailed likeness. So about the middle of the face take place the line of the eyes. Above the eye line, we draw the arch of eyebrow. And we draw the nose line just as one line on one side. And then there are two small arches or nostrils. Eyes we also draw very simply. As my teacher said, the eye has a form of a small fish without the tail. We don't think how we don't think now about three dimension space. I still draw the upper eyelid. You can also draw the lower one. You can also draw eyelashes. I didn't draw them, but some people like them a lot. We also draw the lips very simply. 
we'll make one line and then upper lip and the lower lip. I draw in, in this video two portraits at the same time. The second part of a man, I draw it immediately with the beard. So from the beginning I have an egg with a little longer form. I limit it with the egg form, so you do not have a question why this egg has a different shape. You can, sta you can start with an ordinary egg form and then add a beard. The median line of the eyes take place on the middle part without the beard and hair part. The same way with drawing the eyebrows. If it's a man, he may have heavy and dense eyebrows. Never mind, everything is very individual. We just make them as they are in your model. I'm doing two portraits so you can see the difference. It may be a bald man or it may be a person with long hair, black or white, with curly hair or straight hair. This way of making portrait for everyone, old, young, children or grandparents. I give you now its principles, the egg, the median line, the median line of the eyes. And the details of the model such, such is color of eyes, hairstyle, clothes are important for this way of making portrait. After the head, I finished to draw the neck and shoulders. Very simple, just a few lines. Details, details are also important when you're drawing the clothes. If you want likeness, we can also draw a person in their favorite clothes. Another way you can draw the person in some very beautiful garment. For example, if a person dreams about some party, you can draw her in a beautiful dress and him in it. I am focusing now on the numbers of a size of parts. I especially write the numbers that you can, the, you can have the opportunity to test yourself. Then I write the numbers. No one write them in a portrait. It was just a hint for you. We are drawing this portrait as a 3D form. We are paying attention to details. They are the most important for us now. It is also an illustration way of drawing. This portrait doesn't claim to be a very serious. It's a good way to have fun and relax time.
when we finish with a person or a picture, we need to make our background. I advise you also make some pattern on the background. In both cases, I made a random pat pattern. I drew flowers and stripes. I would recommend you to do something more or less geometric. You also can make a part of a real interior that is present in the life of this person. Something as a recognizable painting on the wall or wallpaper. But you should still do it very light. This way of portraiting is almost child's drawing, despite the fact that the master class is for adults, also children can do it. So we shouldn't feel shy if it will remind you some child's drawing. Pablo Picasso said, it took me four years to paint like Raphael, but a lifetime to paint like a child. This is it. It's a way for this portrait. It should look slightly naive, bright and childish. We got our image by pencil. Next step, we use it is we use it as a coloring page. We are not afraid of bright colors. The only thing, if we use the markers, they can leave spots on the other side. In this case, you can use thick paper. I use ordinary paper for printing. If you take thicker paper, your markers will not be visible on the other side. I use ordinary paper. For if you take thicker paper, your markers will not be visible on the other side. You can use for your portraits, crayons, colored pencils or markers. Just pick what you have or what you prefer. How we do our coloring? Something like we was doing when we were kids. My parents used to say to me when I was a child and made my coloring, try not to go out of line, do it carefully. Something like this. But don't be afraid to experiment. To make both portraits took me about 40 minutes. If you draw in one, it may take half an hour or an hour, maybe more. Everybody has their own inner speed. It's fine. Somebody can do it for 15 minutes or another person can spend even a few hours. One time in this video I show you the almost finished floor just with colored pencil. Then I realized that I want to make it more conscious and I finish it with markers. I make more color for lips, eyes and clothing. 
you can choose how colorful and contrast your drawing will be. I made two drawings on different parts of the paper to show you that it can be different variation of port, port cards. Here we are. It's a simple and fast way to draw portraits. Let's try it. It's all for today. Stay safe, make art. See you soon.